Welcome to the weekly news update on Crypto TV Plus. It's the 24th of August 2022. I'm Kendi Albaya bringing you the weekly dose of blockchain news. Coming up, Yield Guild Games makes a special announcement. Andrew Tate kicked out of blockchain. Open really celebrates its new release. Singapore High Court recognizes three Arrow Capital liquidation order. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First up, Yield Guild Games is partnering with NAS Academy, a creator-focused educational platform to launch its own Web3 educational program. Hosted in NAS Academy's community learning portal NAS.io, Web3 Metaversity will enable YGG Guild batch holders to learn new skills and uncover income earning opportunities in a Web3 space. Members of the Web3 Metaversity community will receive educational content in a supportive environment where they can upskill together with like-minded individuals. YGG and NAS Academy's long-term vision for the program is to empower participants to build promising careers in Web3 across a range of in-demand roles as community managers, content creators, crypto traders, NFT artists, or specialists in other areas. Moving on, Controversial media personality Andrew Tate has been reportedly banned and kicked off from all social media platforms. Former kickboxer who found fame in 2016 has since then gained lots of attention online from his sweeping statements on women and relationships, which many have dubbed as misogynistic and toxic. The entrepreneur and content creator has shut down his affiliate marketing programs at Oslo University due to his recent Facebook and Instagram bans. In the program, students could earn a commission for each new member that signed up using their links. For $50 a month, Oslo University provides lessons on crypto investing and drip shipping and claims that students can earn more than $10,000 each month. The university shuts down its affiliate program and said it has no future. After numerous organizations called for Tate's content to be removed due to his disparaging comments against women, citing its adverse influence on young men and boys, his Instagram account, which had 4.7 million followers, was shut down. He was banned from Facebook and Twitter, and his YouTube accounts are no longer available. Tate had a final message to pass across as he uploaded a video earlier about this sad predicament, and here's what he had to say. A lot of these attacks against me are disguised under the virtue of caring about women. But none of these people who are attacking me care about women. None of them donate to women's charities. None of them donate to charity like I do. None of them help anybody in this video. Proof of the massive work I do for helping people. They don't help anybody. All they do is just attack me and use fake virtue, the fact they pretend to care, as a reason to attack somebody who they personally don't like. And it's very, very different to actually care about an issue or weaponize an issue and pretend to care to try and damage someone else's life. These are very, very different things. Meanwhile, UpOnly, a blockchain-based gaming platform, has made a quick progress following last week's review of a new right to hand service. The UpOnly team look forward to beginning the implementation phase soon following the completion of preliminary research. The new platform introduces a new utility for OpenLy Token as creators earn OpenLy Token rewards on submitted content and also stake OpenLy Token to maximize rewards payout. OpenLy is poised to onboard more content creators to gamify through the platform. They reported that their developers will work on implementing a new API to support the new right to earn service. Additional API work is also linked to introducing a gacha service on OpenLy. The gacha service powers the use of OpenLy tokens for purchasing virtual mystery boxes containing special items that users can redeem on their platform. OpenLy will continue to work on enhancing UI UX experiences across their prediction platform and tournament service. And finally, the liquidators of the 3 Arrows Capital 3AC secured a crucial court decision in Singapore which will give them the ability to probe the local assets of the defunctional Crypto Edge Fund. The Singapore High Court granted the request of the three Arrows Capital appointed liquidator 10 years earlier. This means that the court now legally recognizes the liquidation order originally filed in the British Virgin Islands. Recognition in Singapore gives 10 years the freedom to request all financial records held locally. This includes bank accounts, cryptocurrencies, stakes in companies and properties, the report said. And that is for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. 
For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com and also follow us on social media, Facebook and Twitter at CryptoTVPlus to get daily information on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button. And just in case you have any questions regarding any of the news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Kendi Ogwara. Until next time.